So they out here doing 25 to life for their homies and can't do eight hours for their kids. What part of the game is that? You know what I'm saying? It's just, I mean, it gets to a certain age to where you grow out of things. You know what I mean? I understand when you immature and when you're young, you don't really know no better because you're brought up in a certain urban area, projects, or just a community that's a lot of low vibrational people. You know, so you 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 like basically a clique. You are you a team. You are you know what I'm saying? You call yourself the mob. You call yourself gang. I get it. Because it does start from a young age. You know, and some people really some people really are um organized more than other people. You know what I'm saying? I grew up organized pretty much. Not more my, not more organized than a lot of people. Like there's a lot of organized gangs out there. There's a lot of organized crews. You know, my crew was organized. You know what I'm saying? We was organized. We we stuck by each other. If I had an issue, they had an issue. If they had an issue, I had an issue. That's really how it go. So, you know, it's before the kids process and all of that, having kids and having families. But you got some guys that really grew up and it travels with them. And some people don't know when to call it quits. You have to know when to call it quits, when to say, you know what, man, I gotta put this down. But honestly, this is what you sign up for. You, that's why it's not good to plant that seed at the very beginning. We gotta cheat, teach your children to uh, not get involved in this stuff because it's like a never ending story. And the reason why it's a never ending story because most of the people who try to get out of those lifestyles and grow up, they friends still be stuck there. The people that they rule for at a young age still be stuck there. They don't know how to grow up. And it's like now, okay, I'm trying to do the right thing, but I have my 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 best my best homie. I have my best homie who don't know how to say I'm calling it quits. I'm putting this street life down. I'm not selling drugs no more. I'm not robbing people no more. I'm not taking from people. I'm not selling bricks or, or, or robbing drug dealers. You know, and when you decide to stop, the friends that's still involved think you're switching, think you're changing. So you don't want to do 25 to life for them no more. You, you never did want to do 25 to life, but if it came down to it, you would have. You you rather do eight hours for your children. You got a lot of homies out here that's willing to do 25 to life for their homies rather than eight hours for their children for these specific reasons that I'm explaining due to it being the root of it. Traveling from a seed, traveling from a kid, and they don't want to let their person down because at the very beginning, it was blood in, blood out. I'm talking about we cut our hand and touch each other type of um, oaths, oaths, oaths that you take when you uh, in the street life. So all I can say is try to teach your children, teach your children to not take an oath dealing with the wrong people because it will travel when they want to make a change in life when they get older and want to do eight hours for their children rather than 25 to life for their friends you know so a lot of people wake up and smell a coffee man a lot of people they they, they get developed they grow out of things they grow out of people they grow out of behaviors and activities they took upon rather than going out to the bars and clubs and, um, you know, just hanging out all night. And some some guys still try to do that to impress their friends or people that they came up with, people they were close with. And then they have issues at home because the wife is not agreeing with that. Now the wife is like, yo, I can't do this. This guy's hanging out all night. He got to be cheating. He got to be you know, in a position to where as though he put our life at risk, he got to be still selling drugs or he, 
he got to be doing something to where though he's out late at night. He's not just hanging at a club or at a bar all the time. So it comes to a time where we have to grow up, fellas. We have to grow up. We have to become men. We have to stand firm and face reality. You know, every new level is a new devil. It is. It is. Meaning, when you do grow up and want to start working and want to start doing the right thing, you still got to deal with the world. You know, you got to deal with fake people, you know, at, at, at corporations and um, when you're handling business independently, you know, um, you know, rather going to get wholesale and, you know, even if you you doing something chemically and you got somebody weighing your stuff on a scale, you got to make sure you know how to do that math so they ain't weighing it wrong. And I ain't talking about drugs. I'm talking about other circumstance that could be taking its place when it comes to business matters. You know, if you're making soda, for example, you got to make sure the acid is enough acid is right. You know, if you're making certain, if you making, if you making liquor, if you got a, a liquor business and you're creating liquor, and you got to make sure you have the right chemicals put together to make your li uh, liquor on a um, on a um, 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 level that's legal, a legal level, a legal limit, a legal amount. You know, so it's it's it's, it's always people out here trying to get over so you got to be on point about you got to know your work you got to be on point about everything you do it's not like okay well i escaped this I, I got out of the streets now i'm in this world i'm in a corporate world or i'm in a business world i run my own business no you got to know your business whatever you're running you got to really know it because people will get over on that too. And then some people will get over on a legal level to the point to where as though you will be doing 25 life rate to bust their head because they getting you over on a business level, on a, on, a, uh, on a legal level. And it's like, since you don't know your shit, they gonna get you, you know? So um, I say that to say, fellas, don't do 25 to life for your homies when you're a grown ass man. Even when you're a young man, do at least do eight to 10 hours for your children. Go work, go get a job. We haven't been handed, we, we, we picking up the pieces of puzzle that haven't been handed to us. We haven't been given, you know, a plate of, you know, good dishes. We had to go out and get it on our own. A lot of people have been spoon fed. They've been given things. Things been passed down. Houses, cars, businesses. We we among children that we are seeing that's doing we what we consider quote unquote better than us. That's been passed down something. And we think that they working harder than us when they when they and most well, they could be working harder than us, but at the same time, they had a head start. They had a kickstand. They had someone to lean on. You know what I'm saying? We had to put our beds on crates. They bed had frames. You know what I'm saying? So I say that to say we have to move a little different. And the only way we can move different as a people is to come together. And if you can't come together as a crew, as a team, as an investment team, Work with your family. Come together as your with your family, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, your fathers, your uncle. Come together as a family and work together and save together and build and have a strategic plan to be financially free. Put all 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 y'all should be at least under one roof, putting into a pot to grab another roof, and then putting under that pot to grab another roof. And before you know it, it's about five, six of y'all. Y'all all bought four or five houses and each one of y'all can say, hey, I own four or five properties. It's, all, it's not, so when you hear a person saying, when you hear a person saying, she fucking that sandwich up in her car. When you hear a person saying, I own five, six properties. You're like, how, damn, how they owning all them properties? How they own five or six properties? Because... They own it with an investment team, which more likely can be a business team or their family. 
they own it with other people. It's not that they own it by themselves unless they was just rich, unless they just came up rich. But you can't do it all by yourself. When you hear a person say, I have real estate, I own properties, I own businesses, because they own it with people that they build with. They own it with people. You know? So, yeah, that's how that work. So it's not, in most cases, it's it's 2% out of a 10. It's 2%, it's, it's two out of 10 people who actually own five or six property, properties on their own. I'll say two out of 10. The other eight people is owning properties with people. So you ought to, you ought to start off maintaining the income. Well, well, attaining the income, which means you have to work. You have to do eight hours. You have to do it, have to work a job. Then you got to maintain the income which is invest and sustain the income. Try to increase it, get more, you know? Sustain the income, you know? And that's what it's all about. Attain, maintain, and sustain. Yep. So don't do 25 to life for your homies if y'all ain't building and it wasn't a, a organized rep. It wasn't an organized business. You know, you wasn't getting nothing out of it. You know, sometimes you can you can do you you can feel like you're doing business with somebody, or you could be in with somebody and not realizing you in it all for the wrong reasons. Don't be in involved with people, places, and things that's not helping you build and grow and outsource the opposition. You know. So you got, you know, guys like such as myself, you know, I didn't have like, like as a grown age, I don't have a team of people behind me. You know, it's pretty much me doing all, all of it on my own, you know, which is okay. It happens. It's, it's all right. You know, that's life. You know, you, everybody's not fortunate, but, um, I will be better off if I had a strong team. If I had people that I can invest with, that I can really build with, that I can put my mind and orchestrate real estate deals and, you know, things of that nature, I'd rather still be a worker, you know, I'd rather still be a worker and I can be a boss on my own time as well. That's OK, because we wasn't we wasn't dealt a silver spoon or a gold spoon or however they want to say the analogy. You know, but um, yeah, peace and love, y'all. I don't mean to rap to my tape pop, but I like to talk to y'all because at the same time, I talk to myself and I like reaching out to the people. I like being a, a person that can, you know, put words together and make sense and reach out to people that's in need because you got you got you got talkers, you got public speakers and you have listeners. You got two type of people. You got speakers, you got talkers and you got listeners Okay, then you got both. You got talkers and listeners. Okay, I'm both. I'm a listener and I'm a talker. Okay, so I have both of those gifts. I'm real gift with. I'm real gifted with talking, and I'm real gifted with listening. And then you got some people that's not gifted with talking. They just know how to listen. They listen. They don't want to talk. They just want to listen and learn from you. So I fall in the category with listening and learning and speaking. Yep. So I say that to say, you know, breathe excellence. Be the change that you want to be the change that you want to receive, that you want to accomplish. Be that. Come correct. And um, others will respect you as you respected yourself. All right. So overall, fellas, don't do 25 to life for your homies. And can't do eight hours for yourself and for your children. Peace and love. I'm gone. Your boy.